Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about difference between asynchronous and synchronous counters in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. Now, the first point in asynchronous counters is in asynchronous counter, the clock pulse is given to the leftmost flip-flop. The output of the first flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the second flip-flop. The output of the second flip-flop is connected to the clock input of third flip-flop. The output of the third flip-flop is connected as clock input of the fourth flip-flop and so on. That means in the case of asynchronous counters, the flip-flops are connected in such a way that the output of the first flip-flop drive, drives the clock input of the second flip-flop. The output of the second flip-flop drives the clock input of third flip-flop. The output of the third flip-flop is drives the clock input of fourth flip-flop and so on. Whereas in the case of synchronous counters, there is no connection between the output of the flip-flop and the clock input of the next flip-flop. Okay, here there is no connection between the output of the flip-flop and the clock input of the next flip-flop because here the same clock pulse is applied to all the flip-flops at the same time in the case of synchronous counters. Here the clock pulse is given to the first flip-flop, the same clock pulse is given to the second flip-flop the same clock pulse is given to the third flip-flop. That means the same clock pulse is given to all the flip-flops at the same time in the case of synchronous counters. Because of that reason, there is no connection between the output of the flip-flop and the clock input of the next flip-flop. Okay. But whereas in the case of asynchronous counter the clock pulse is given to the first flip-flop then the output of the first flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the second flip-flop the output of the second flip-flop is connected as clock input of the third flip-flop the output of the third flip-flop is connected as clock input of the fourth flip-flop and so on next Second point, all the flip-flops are not clocked simultaneously. In the case of asynchronous counters, all the flip-flops are not clocked simultaneously because the clock pulse is given to the first flip-flop. The output of the first flip-flop drives the clock input of the second flip-flop. The output of the second flip-flop drives the clock input of the third flip-flop. The output of the third flip-flop drives the clock input of the fourth flip-flop and so on. In this way, the flip-flops are connected in asynchronous counters. Because of that reason, all the flip-flops are not clocked simultaneously. But, whereas in the case of synchronous counters, all the flip-flops are clocked simultaneously because the same clock pulse is applied to all the flip-flops. Because of that reason, we can say that all the flip-flops are clocked simultaneously. Next, third point, design and implementation is very simple even for more number of states. Okay. So, to design the asynchronous counters is very uh, simple 
and we have to implement it is also very simple as the number of states increases okay whereas in the case of uh, synchronous counters design and implementation becomes tedious and complex as the number of states increases so when the number of states are increases more and more then design and implementation is very uh, difficult and complex in the case of synchronous counters next fourth point speed is slow as the clock is propagates through a number of flip flops before it reaches last flip flop in the case of asynchronous counter the speed is very slow because the clock is propagated through the number of flip flop before it reaches the last flip flop so that means the second flip flop depends on the first flip flop the third flip flop depends on the second flip flop the fourth flip flop depends on the third flip flop because whenever we are getting the clock pulse from the previous flip flop then that not then this flip flop is operated okay so this flip flop is operated when we are getting the clock pulse from the previous flip flop this flip flop will operate then after getting the clock pulse from the previous flip flop so this flip flop will not operate until we are getting the clock pulse from the previous flip flop this flip flop will not operate until it will get the clock pulse from the previous flip flop because of that reason propagation delay is also high in the case of asynchronous counters because of that reason speed is also slow because the clock pulse is propagated to the last flip flop last flip flop okay next one here in the case of synchronous counters so speed is high because at the same time we are applying the clock pulse for all the flip flops okay because of that reason speed is high as clock is given for all the flip flops at the same time okay we are given the clock pulse for all the flip flops at the same time all the flip flops are operated at the same time because of that reason the operation can be done very fastly in the case of synchronous counters because of that reason speed is also high but in the case of asynchronous counter the clock pulse is not given for all the flip flops at the same time the clock pulse is given for this flip flop by getting the output from the previous flip flop that output is given as clock input for this flip flop this flip flop will operate when we are getting the output from the previous flip flop that output is connected as input clock input for this flip flop in this way a synchronous counters can operate so current counter current flip flop depends on the previous flip flop this previous flip flop depends on this previous flip flop because of that reason so propagation delay is more because of that reason speed is also slow in the case of asynchronous counters asynchronous counters are also known as serial counter because the clock pulse is given to the first flip flop the output of the first flip flop is given as clock for the second flip flop the output of the second flip flop is given as clock for the third flip flop and so on because of that reason asynchronous counters are also known as a uh, serial counter next one synchronous counters are also known as parallel counters because 
the same clock pulse is given to all the flip flops at the same time all the flip flops are operated at the same time because of that reason we can say that synchronous counters are also known as parallel counters next one sixth point it produces more errors than a synchronous counters so because of that reason the clock pulse is given for all the flip flops at different times they operate at different times also because of that reason there is a possibility of getting more errors when compared to the uh, synchronous counters in asynchronous counters here it produces less errors when compared to the asynchronous counters because all the for all the flip flops clock pulse is given at the same time they operate at the same time because of that reason there is a chances of uh, getting less errors when compared to the asynchronous counters next one seventh point it will operate only in a fixed count sequence so that means asynchronous counters are operates only in a fixed count sequence that is up counter or a down counter whereas in the case of synchronous counters it will operate any desired sequence we can take any sequence the synchronous counters will operate but whereas in the case of asynchronous counters they operate only in a fixed sequence next one eighth point propagation delay is high so in the case of asynchronous counters propagation delay is high because of that reason we are not giving the clock pulse for all the flip flops at the same time okay the first the clock pulse is given for the first flip flop the output of the first flip flop is given as the input of the clock input of the second flip flop the output of the second flip flop is uh, given as clock input for the third flip flop and so on because of that reason the second flip flop depends on the first flip flop the third flip flop depends on the second flip flop the fourth flip flop depends on the third flip flop and so on because of that reason we can say that propagation delay is high whereas in the case of synchronous counters propagation delay is low because we are giving the clock pulse for all the flip flops at the same time they operate at a uh, uh, same time because of that reason there is no delay in the case of synchronous counters so propagation delay is low next point ninth point each flip flop is uh, triggered with a different clock signal at a different instant of time okay so in the case of asynchronous counters each flip flop is uh, triggered at a different clock signal okay because we are not giving the same clock signal to all the flip flops so we are giving different clock signals for uh, all the uh, flip flops at a different instants of time okay as we discussed uh, previously we are not giving the same clock pulse for all the flip flops in asynchronous counters the output of the first flip flop is given as the clock input for the second flip flop the output of the second flip flop is connected as the clock input of the third flip flop and so on because of that reason each flip flop is triggered at a different clock signal at a different instants of time but whereas in the case of uh, synchronous counters each flip flop is triggered with the same clock signal at the same time we are giving the same clock signal for all the flip flops at the same time because of the reason each flip flop is triggered at the same clock pulse at the same time next one 10th point examples for asynchronous counters are a ring counter 
examples for asynchronous counters are ripple up counter ripple down counter ripple up down counters whereas in the case of examples for synchronous counters are ring counter and johnson counter next 11th point cost is low to construct the asynchronous circuit it is asynchronous counter circuit so cost is very low to construct the synchronous counter so cost is high next one 12th point in the case of asynchronous counters only up or down sequence up sequence means counting can be in increasing order so 0 1 2 3 4 after that again we are getting the uh, 0 so this is called as up counter okay so this is a mod 2 counter mod 2 counter can contain only four states uh, zero state one state uh, sorry this is zero sorry okay so mod 4 counter can contain only four states that is 0, 1, 2, 3. After that, again it can goes to 0. Okay. So, up counter means it can count in increasing order. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. After that, again it can goes to 0. Okay. Next one, down counter means it can count in decreasing order. So, 3, 2, 1, 0. After that, again it can goes to 3. Okay. Previously, I am writing the mod 5 counter. Okay. So, here this is the mod 4 counter. Okay. So, this is up sequence and this is a down sequence. Only it is a fixed sequence. But in the case of synchronous counters, sequence may be jumping. So, like 0, 4, 2, 6, 3, 1, 5. Again, it can goes to uh, 0. That is the uh, mod 7 counter. It can uh, contain only uh, 7 states 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, it can go to uh, 0. So, this is a uh, sequence is jumping. Actually, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is the sequence. But in the case of synchronous counter, sequence jumping is also possible 0 4 2 6 3 1 5 0 so this is the sequence jumping is possible in synchronous counters so here uh, up, up sequence or down sequence that is a fixed in the case of asynchronous counters so this is for mod 4 up counting sequence mod 4 down counting sequence only up counting sequence and down counting sequence is a possible in asynchronous counters and also up or down counting sequence is also possible but in the case of uh, synchronous counters sequence jumping is possible so these are the 12 differences between uh, asynchronous and synchronous uh, counters I hope all of you understanding the difference between asynchronous and asynchronous uh, counters after observing these uh, 12 uh, differences. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And also, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divya Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of digital electronic subjects, go to my channel and visit the playlist called DLD ORR, STLD ORR Digital Electronics. It contains approximately greater than 300 videos with more solved examples. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.